Now we can take this assembly and put it between the V-groove bearings for the Z-axis. And those are the bearings that are shown here. It's, we have the gantry like this when we were putting the Y-axis on. It's a convenient position to put this on as well. So we're going to start by just make sure this is somewhat loose, just sort of finger tight. And it's going to be a tight fit in the beginning, uh, but that's fine because we want this to be a pretty tight fit. And I'm just going to take the, the rails for the Z-axis and put them between the V-glue bearings. Make sure they go into the middle of the bearing. And you, you may feel it go at an angle a little bit. You want to try to resist that angle. And now it's between all of the bearings. And now we're going to check to see how close the bearings are to the, to the rails. And you can do, do you need to bring it any closer? It looks like I'm pretty close as it is. Uh, it's not actually necessary to, to bring them closer in. But as you're... As the, um, the rails get cold rolled or forged by the, the hardened bearings, you'll need to bring it in to a certain point once that happens. And it'll happen um, gradually as you do work with the CNC machine, but it'll stop wearing to a certain extent. So just tighten the bigger bearings now. You don't, have to, you, don't go, you don't have to go really super tight, just pretty snug. And just take these screws and just push it towards the the, the um, 3 8 inch screw and you should be fine. If you want to do a little bit of forging in the beginning, just bring it back and forth to get some initial forging or cold rolling on the rails. And you'll feel that it's pretty smooth after a while. So yeah, this is pretty smooth already. Now we're ready to put the, now put on a washer on each and put a number eight nut to fasten it. Okay, leave it slightly loose so we can still move it up and down to align the, the lead screw. Alright, we're going to put on the, the top hose and upper bearing mount for the Z-axis. If you're using a four inch hose, go ahead and use this one. If not, if you're using a two inch hose, use this piece. This is actually a little bit larger than two inch so the hose will be able to fit fit through it. You're going to use one and a half inch screws and cross dowels for this. We'll also need this piece which is um, another bearing uh, mount for the z-axis. You'll have to have two bearings, one on the top and one on the bottom which is on the other side of this. And the, the motor mount piece will also mount these four holes. So you'll need, we'll use two and a half inch screws and cross dowels for this. You might want to try to get it in first this way. Start getting it into the hole. Add the cross dowel. If the cross dowel goes too far, then you have a hole underneath to be able to push it up. So get this snug so you can orient these. And you'll also notice that these are grooves. You can slide them back and forth so you can align the lead screw that way as well. Add the cross dowel. You might want to look at what I'm doing up here. I'm keeping these screws loose just so I can easily manipulate the parts. And once they're, we'll also need to keep it loose just so we can shift this back and forth if we need to. All right, now we're ready to put the motor mount on. Take a half inch bearing and insert it into this um, seat. And you'll need to use some pressure to get it in. So you have a half inch bearing. It will stick out a little bit. Um, the coupling will be uh, going up against that and we'll have to put a, another half inch bearing on the other side. Now we have this, it'll stick out just as much as the other one on the other side and we'll have a collar on this side once we put in the, the lead screw. We'll take the lead screw which will be 20 inches in length and we're gonna just move this out a little bit. We're gonna insert the lead screw into the half inch bearing. So put the coupling on, just put it there for collar. the time being, the collar. And then you can put in the you can put the lead screw in to the, the lead nut and you'll have to turn it into the nut. Now we can put the coupling hub on the lead screw. You want to make sure it doesn't protrude past this point because this is also used to secure the, um, the bearing. You want to get it pretty tight. Right. You can also use this to help it go into the, the lead nut. Okay. Now I'll show the whole thing. You'll also want to make sure, you'll also want to make sure that this sleeve is over this section of the um, 
of the anti-backlash nut or it'll, you'll have a hard time getting the, the lead screw in. So make sure it's, it's shoved as far back as possible. And we can go ahead and turn the lead screw and, and now we can check alignment and you can do this with your eye. So move it however you need to. You can also use a caliper to determine the distance from here, these two distances and these two distances. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and get the lead screw and the lead nut at the same location. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this. So press this against the, the bearing and tighten it up really tight. Okay, so it'll stop at the end and now this is the perfect opportunity to align your, your lead screw. Since it's really close together and these can't be too far apart to be able to be aligned. So make sure it's aligned. Now we can go ahead and tighten up our number 8 screws on the lead nut. And you want to tighten these up really, really tight. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to put on the motor mount on the top. So we'll be using one and a half inch screws for the motor mounting and standard nut. So now we have those in, we can go ahead and tighten those. Okay. Now we're going to put in the three inch screws into these four corners so we can mount to the machine. Put on one nut on each one, or actually two nuts on each one. You don't, want, you don't want to get it too tight yet. I didn't put my motor on at the right orientation to make it easy for me to adjust anything if I need to. So I want the motor to have the, the wires in the back and I want the opening to be here. Okay, so now my motor is mounted to the motor mount and we're ready to install this piece onto the machine. <coughs> It'll go into these four holes and just go in and then get the, um, the motor shaft into the, into the coupling hub and go as far in as you can. Now we'll put in the nuts here. You want to try to get these peeking out of the nut about the same on every screw. And this one. Underneath. Okay. And if you want, you can get a caliper to, to look at the, the, um, the distance all the way around to make sure it's straight. And we can go ahead and start tighten, tightening these together using two crescent wrenches or one. I only have one handy at the moment. I'll keep tightening these and adjusting as necessary. Now we can go ahead and tighten these. And this is on. And we can tighten the, the coupling, the coupling hub in here. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Gravity. 